Our next topic is solubility curve. So what is solubility curve? When we will plot the solubility against their respective temperature. That means when we are making a super saturated solution with the help of temperature. Then we are plotting their solubility against that temperature and we will see their behavior that with increasing temperature that solubility will increase or decrease or which kind of change we will see in their behavior. So here I have listed some of the salts and respectively I have plot a rough diagram of a plot of solubility versus temperature. So here I have mentioned K2SO4, KClO3, NaCl, KCl, KNO3 and lead nitrate that is PbNO3 twice. So we will see their behavior as with increasing temperature. Here as you are going from left to right the temperature will increase and here at the solubility scale as we are going from down to top the solubility will increase. So first is increase with rise in temperature. As we are rising the temperature their solubility will increase. In this case KClO3 NaNO3 and CuSO4 are the example of this solubility curve that they will increase, their solubility will increase along with the temperature. So this is the curve of KClO3. You can see that it will increase along with the temperature. So the solubility will increase as the temperature will increase. Now increase slightly. It will increase but not as much like KClO3 and NaNO3. They will, their solubility increase slightly with increasing temperature. In that you can see the difference that this solubility has rise like this and their solubility is increases slightly. NaCl and KCl. Their solubilities are increasing slightly along with the temperature compared to this. So NaCl and KCl is, are the example of this category and this is exceptional case that CaOH twice. So calcium hydroxide solubility will increase slightly and that is below 70 degree centigrade and not above that. Third is decreases with temperature. So here this is an exceptional case that as we are increasing temperature the solubility will decrease that is calcium sulfate CaSO4. Then fourth is Na2SO4 tan H2O. This is sodium sulfate hydrated sodium sulfate because tan H2O is along with that this water of crystallization is along with sodium sulfate. So it will increase till 36 degree and above that it will anhydrous. Above that anhydrous that means this 10H2O will no longer will attach to that. So here I have mentioned that this, this curve is of Na2SO4 10H2O. You can see that up to some time it will increase along with the temperature and after that it will become anhydrous. And KNO3 is having highest solubility at 100 degree Celsius. So KNO3 is having highest solubility at 100 degree Celsius and you can see the sharp rise of solubility at 100 degree Celsius. Up till that it will slowly increase but once it will reach there it will show a highest solubility at 100 degree Celsius. This solubility is independent when pressure will change. Solubility is only and only affecting with temperature and not affecting by pressure. So this are some of the example of salts along with their temperature change. That how we are changing a temperature and their solubility will change. So this is known as solubility curve and these are some of the important examples. This example may come in exam for one mark and in multiple choice question that the solubility of salt will decrease with the temperature. That salt is 
So you have to choose the answer and that is calcium sulfate. Now we will see that why we have to study a solubility curve and what is its importance. These are some of the important application of solubility curve and these are some of the field where we can apply the knowledge of solubility curve. So in medicine field or in medical field it is used to determine the amount of drug dissolved in given solvent at different temperature when they are preparing a syrup by dissolving a drug substance into that at that time they will check this at different temperature. So solubility curve is important while they are making a syrup by, by dissolving a solute into that and solute will be drug. So we can write that in the preparation of drug the solubility curve is important. Now how the chemists and researchers are using this. So R&D scientists are using this to determine most suitable solvent at various temperature. They want to check for the solute that which is a best suitable solvent for this solute so that they will check through the solubility curve. Then extraction of various chemicals from natural resources. We know that there are many important essential oils and natural substances are present in the leaves and some natural products. So those compounds should be those compounds will extracted via this method. They will check that how can we extract this compound and in which solvent it is most soluble. So via that method they will get that compound and they will get it soluble in which they are showing the highest solubility. So in that field also the solubility curve is important. Then in separation of solute, if there are two solute mixed in one solvent, then they will separate this solute by checking their comparative solubility study. Then in purification of solute, when we are making a super saturated solution and we will recover our solute back, then it is the purest form of solute. So, we can also that say that by making a saturated solution and supersaturated solution, it is a method to get a purified salt or a purest form of salt. So, it is not always to check a solubility of the solute in particular solvent that we are making a saturated solution. Many a times we make a supersaturated solution and recover our salt back to get the purest form of solute. So two other importance and application is for separation of solute and to purificate and in purification of solute we require the solubility curve because through solubility curve we can check the effect of temperature on solubility for that particular solute and in various solvent. There are many parameters which we can check through solubility curve. We can change a different solvent and we can check that this solute is highly soluble in which solvent through solubility curve. Then we can check that in this solvent which solute is highly soluble then what is the effect of temperature at which temperature this solute is highly soluble and many more parameter we can conclude we can check and we can determine through solubility curve so these are only three and four fields where the high importance of solubility curve is there and this is one of the important topic when we are discussing solubility that what is the importance of solubility curve and what are the application of solubility curve.